Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing this beautiful, beautiful day? I'll tell you, I was shocked that it was so beautiful. Matter of fact, I'm overdressed. I just got back in the house. I had to take a, I had to take a cab because of my scooter, of course. You know, y'all. I know y'all tired of hearing me. Let me take, let me take this shirt, this top off. I'm just getting in the house. I was gonna let you see how much I spent on this, just this uh, little bit of junk food. Ugh. But I had to come out of my clothes first, y'all. Mm. I'd do a little strip tease here for you because this thing is hot. I think the weatherman said it's like 60 something degrees. But I had a very nice uh, Uber driver, cab driver. Excuse me, y'all. I got on two shirts. I thought it was going to be cold. I got a shirt on. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. They got brown shirt, undershirt on under here. Oh, miserable, but the day is very pleasant. I tell you, I missed my school already. And there's my two boxes of Cheerios. You know, I got to have my Cheerios. And I got me some crackers. I'm in a bad uh, position. And I got my California blend. I got two bags of that. And I got my crackers. And I bought some refrigerated cookies. I said, wow, what am I thinking? I just had cookies. I made cookies uh, this week. And they had the potatoes. They had these potatoes twofer. It was a twofer. And they had the onions for a twofer. So that's a lot for me, but, you know, I put them in the refrigerator. And I got my organic milk. Uh, got me a little bird. A little old chicken bird. Uh, uh, got me some canola oil, Stop and Chop brand. I usually have Wesson, but... I didn't get wet some this time. And I got my junk food. Mine didn't get much, but believe it or not, this little bit of stuff cost me $66. See, I got my snacks for the week. So I'm not going to have to go back to the store anytime soon. And I got my other potatoes and another bag of onions in there. Where's the other bag of onions? Oh, they're in that bag. Yep. And I got me a pack of gum. I didn't get much, I tell you. But, like I say, it don't take long. And my Uber didn't take me long at all. Not my Uber. It was a cab. I took a cab. Sometimes they use, you know, the medical transportation and all that, blah, blah. I didn't know it was so difficult to take, try to get an Uber. And I wanted to tell them, I'm going to talk them out, sign up. Sign up with Google Play or Facebook or something. I said, oh my goodness, am I going to be able to go to that grocery store today? Because I was out of potato and onions. And, you know, I got some sprouted onions in the refrigerator, but I don't, you know, because they've been in there so long and they're starting to get soft and stuff. And that's one reason I wanted to go to the store. And I had some uh, getting low on milk. I noticed that this morning when I had my uh, cereal. And plus, I wanted a, a chicken because I knew it was going to start getting crowded. You know, toward the closer it gets to Thanksgiving, the more. And I was surprised to see the store so crowded this morning. Yeah, people, people were there. And I thought I was getting out early. Let me see, what time is it now? It's about quarter to 10, 10 to 10. Yeah, it's about 10 to 10. And, uh, but I didn't have to wait long for my taxi. I didn't have to wait either way. You know, when I called them, as soon as I turned around, there they were. And then as soon as I came out of the store, I called them. And I don't know if I even waited two minutes. It's very good service. And, uh, but that's the inside of the store was kind of crowded. 
But that too went kind of smooth because you know you didn't have I didn't have to wait long for the cashier. I guess I must have been getting there right on time, even though there was a lot of people at the self checking out and stuff like that. So so far my day has went well. How about you? How has your day gone so far? I tell you, if you living right here where I am on the east coast, northeast. You have a beautiful day ahead of you, y'all. I tell you, it's 60. I think it's in the 60s. No breeze. It's just calm. It's just nice. It's a perfect day. I could have went outside with this. I didn't need that fuzzy, wuzzy thing over there. But you never know about this time of the year. The weather changes so quickly. One day it's hot. Next day you're freezing like last night for instance i was kind of shaking in my bed and i had to get up and uh put some more cover on there but i don't have any complaints today y'all i don't have no complaints and i'm not you know i don't have wait a minute what, what was my new saying i'm not complaining i'm just explaining and so far i really don't have anything to complain about but i do want to clean up Put this food away. As a matter of fact, I got to get up here and put the, veg the, the frozen vegetables away before they thaw up. Because I don't like them to thaw up. And my chicken, I'm not going to cook that. I'm not going to cook today, period. Because I had cooked some, uh, I cooked a pot of beans yesterday. See, these are my California blend. That's the ones I like right there. Uh, oh, I have some in the freezer. I forgot. But, you know, that's the one I get to go with my soup. I didn't have to buy no soup because I already got soup in. I hope still got some soup in there. And this little chicken right here, he said he can't wait to get in the stove. And when thinking about cooking a whole chicken, for me, it lasts. I say I can eat off of maybe four or five days, depending on, you know, how I make it after I bake it. Uh, so. And they had this, I don't know if they had that, they had like this ham, looked like ham that was cut up. I said, oh my goodness, they must be doing this for Thanksgiving. But I've never seen it look like that before. At first I thought it was ham hocks or something. But then I said, I think that's ham or, or some kind of meat. They don't tell them what we eat today, y'all. Might be a barbecue, might be a smoked dog. Who knows? Better look out for your dog and your cats. That's the only thing I can say. That's what they say when you're walking around there in China with your dog. You better be careful. Look out for your dog. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff out here in there. Oh, that looks good. As a matter of fact, I need to take my trash out. I need to take my trash out. Get these boxes out of here. And a battery still didn't come for my uh, scooter. Uh, but maybe it'll come today. I don't know. But I wish, and I will speak, and I wish I had just gone ahead and ordered the $500 one. You know? Because I don't have anybody to put it together. I don't know anybody who has tools. So, I don't know what situation. We'll see. We shall see who I can find to help me. Eh. But, like they say, y'all, uh, that's when it comes to have, it, it comes in handy to have a handy man around the house when you got something like that to do. Y'all better hold on to your man. Because I tell you, Hold on to your man and let him do the something like that, you know. So, but if I can find somebody, all I need is I need somebody with a set of tools, you know, that go down there in it. They're long tools. You know how you got to get a hole. You got to stick that screwdriver right down in that hole and unscrew it way down there in there, maybe that deep. That's what I need. And I was thinking... They probably could do it at an uh, auto body shop or something like that. I'm not sure. I got to inquire around. 
But they might tell me, well, we don't do scooters. We don't mess with that. I mean, they do a car and a battery. I mean, I'm willing to pay them. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And then uh, my, my daughter said she would ask her ex-husband. But he was talking kind of slow. So I said, well, I got to find somebody. I got to, you know, do my own thing. I got to work out my own situations. And that's what you have to do, you know, when you when you get single. And, and uh, which I've been single, I have I have been divorced for how many years? Ninety four. How many years is that? Ninety four from twenty nine years. I think I've been I was married for twenty nine years. I think I've been divorced for twenty nine years. Yeah. But, you know, I had a significant other since then. But we ain't got him now. So, but anyway, we'll figure something out. I'm sure we will definitely figure something out. And it's such a nice day. It would be perfect. And I started to take chance with that school. I really did. I really started to take my chance, you know, because I used to gamble a lot. I mean, not a whole lot of money, but I used to, like, play like pity pat. You know, 25 cents. Five and dime and all that kind of stuff like that. Because that's what we used to play. And Pokino, I love the game. Oh, I love to play Pokino. And we used to gamble, you know, have the, you know, different little, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, bowls for, you know, you put your 10 cent, whatever we wanted to play. Pokino would be the highest. Four corners, center, you know, you know how the game goes. Uh, probably you might not because you might be a little too young to know about Pekino. I think they still make it, though. Make the game. It's played with a deck of cards. It's just like bingo, but it's played with a deck of cards. And we have different pots that we would put the money in. And if you get it, and you got to call it first. And if you get, like, for instance, four corners and Pekino at the same time, you you can't call Pekino first because Pekino ends the game. So you would have to say four corners and Pekino like that. That was a fun game. I love to play that. And of course, you know I'm a gamer anyway. I love to play Scrabble. Matter of fact, I've been playing Scrabble this morning before I even went to the store. Because I couldn't sleep, you know, as usual. I feel sound like I'm a broken record. I can't sleep. I sleep to a little bit, then I wake up. I slept for maybe four hours, but it was early, you know, like early during the evening that I went to sleep. About four or five hours up for the rest of the night. And then I knew, I said, I'm getting out of here to go to that store today, one way or the other. And that's what I did. That was on my agenda this morning. And right now, I'm going to get up here because my house is driving me nuts. All these boxes. As a matter of fact, I had the exterminator come. They don't do nothing, though. I mean, you know, he just came in the house and told him, well, he wanted to check the thing that was already in the house. I said, well, what about that little thing there? He said, it's not ours. You know, the little boxes that the little ants and, well, roaches, if I had any. I don't have no roaches. Knock on wood. At least if I do, I haven't seen them. And um, he just said, he said, that's not ours. But it had a little black box. I, I don't know if that's for mice or what that's for. But he said, that's, we're going to just check this and that's it. And he was in and out of here. It wasn't even in here a minute. But my house was looking just like it is now. I was kind of embarrassed because I forgot he was coming. You know, and mostly just boxes, you know, Amazon. And the juicer, I didn't even open that box. You know, it was a box within a box. So I didn't even open that box at all. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to send it back to Amazon. Because I was at the store today. I said, do I want a juice? Do I, do I want to buy some... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Do I want to buy some strawberries and cherries? Them stuff costs a lot of money. And then I said to myself, am I going to be a juicer? I don't think so, yeah. I don't think I got that juicing per type of personality. I think I'm just going to, you know, buy my juice that's already, you know, made. But my daughter did give me an idea. She says, you'll probably eat more vegetables if you uh, juice, you know, get a juicer. But am I going to do it? That's the question. Am I going to buy celery, keep celery in my house? No, 
because I only buy celery. Matter of fact, I forgot to get me some stuffing for my chicken. I want to put the stuffing on the side. But I didn't get it, so. But, um, I don't think I'm, a, I'm, I'm just not the juicer. I'm not, I, I, the more I think about it, I think I think it just got excited because it was half price. As you can see, I haven't even opened it. Send it back to Amazon. Even though it was only 50 bucks. But then you got to buy the stuff. You got to buy the vegetables, the vegetables. Do I keep vegetables like uh, fresh vegetables in my house? I don't even keep oranges in my house no more because oranges were so terrible. I stopped even buying them. And um, like I said, those things uh, cost a lot of money. The blueberries, you know, you get the frozen, if you get the frozen one. Bananas is about the only reasonable uh, thing that I can think of. And... I would say juice, maybe celery, um, cucumber, cucumbers I love. That would be one way to get my cucumber because I do love cucumbers. And what else do you juice? Did I say celery and maybe put some cilantro or something in there? Nah, that's, that's not me, y'all. I'm not into that. Not really. And I got to get out of the second sweater, the second shirt, y'all, because uh, your girl is still uh, kind of warm. And on that note, I will be talking to you again soon. I wish y'all could come over here and help me, have, help me out clean up some of these boxes. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you again soon.